I'm Prabhu Sundaraman. I work as a software consultant at Jurasoft. So let's continue with our discussion on the concepts of JavaScript. So this session, we are going to discuss a very widely used concept called template string. So it's also called as string interpolation. So let's create a JS file. Let's call it template.js. So let's say I have a variable called name. So we have Sam and I want to display a message, say hi Sam. And the old style is you just say hi and then concatenate it. So like this and display the message. So this is the old style where we use the plus operator to concatenate strings. So let's run this template. Cheers, hi Sam. You can now use template strings introduced in the latest version. So what you can do is you can create a template string using a back tick operator. And you can just say hi. And you want to kind of interpol interpolate this name inside this string. So you can use this dollar curly brace expression. Say hi name. And let's run this the same output so it becomes a lot more easier to uh, work with a lot of things in the in a string so let's say you want to print uh, uh, another message uh, with uh, just the first uh, uh, alphabet of the name so you want to say uh, hello and you want to get the first character you can just say substring or zero one uh, and let's try to display this Hello, S. So you notice you can kind of pretty much call functions, have simple expressions inside this dollar curly braces. So template strings can also be used for creating multi line strings. So you can have a multi line string, and so it preserves your white space characters. So you can say this is a multi line string and let's try to display this right so right to the line string and run it okay so I made some mistake oh sorry so let's run this hello yes and this is a multi-line string so you can see this backtick operator used uh, extensively for uh, concatenation for multi-line strings. A couple of uh, things uh, that you need to remember uh, uh, while working with this uh, template strings is, uh, let's say I have uh, uh, a name of, uh, say, a city, say, London. I want to have a, a message that says, uh, I am in the city. I want to print this message. It's going to print, I am in London. Before doing this, before printing this, I want to change this value of city. I want to say Paris. So what do you think happens? So when you try to run this, you get the same output, I am in London. So what you have to understand is, these template strings are not lazily evaluated. So they are pretty eagerly evaluated. So by the time you create it and goes to the next line, automatically it's evaluated. So even if you try to change the value of variables like city, the template strings are not really uh, changed. Great. So another thing is this template string concept is extensively used in React applications when you want to, uh, uh, in, in attributes, when you want to have work with inline styles, inline CSS, this template strings are very widely used. Thank you.